morning and thanks for being with us. I'm Heather Abraham. Happy Tuesday morning to all of you. We have a great show lined up and a very busy morning. Images of Pittsburgh are a sight to behold and when they're captured by an award winning photographer, they can be breathtaking. Joining us today is photographer and gallery owner Emmanuel Peneyotokis. I want to say good morning to you. Good morning. This is not just a hobby for you. This is a love and a passion. Yeah, this is a passion for photography. Yeah. I'm always out there trying to capture the moment. As you know, photography about capturing the moment. Right. And I, I know you're from Greece. You've been here uh, for almost 30 years. But what brought you to America? Um, yeah, I'm, I met my wife um, uh, 28 years ago in Greece. Then we decided to get married. Then she, uh, I just came up here. And so, how did how did your photography start? How did you start taking pictures? Uh, yeah. Then um, it was a nice hobby for me. I was always fascinated by uh, macro photography. Then I like to have the little bugs, you know, taking pictures of it. Um, and that grew. Um, just grew. that grew on me. Yeah. Then um, I my first job was for be with Beaver County Tourism Department. Okay. And after, uh, after that, I just grow as an artist. And, and so tell me about some of the images. I know you sent us a couple of them, um, but you've been taking pictures so long, you decided to open up your own gallery to showcase these and to sell some of, some of your photography. So tell us about some of the images we're seeing here. Sure. Um, a, a lot of images of, of Pittsburgh. Yeah, we have a lot of images of Pittsburgh and obviously in other cities, uh, New York, like Boston, Cincinnati. Um, yeah, we have a variety of uh, other cities and we do, I do most landscaping pictures yeah. and cityscapes. So uh, what can you tell us about like the, like taking the pictures? I mean, I know you've given a lot of tips to area photographers. You've kind of helped them, mentor them. Um, so when you're talking to these photographers, what are you trying to guide them? I mean, because a lot of them are taken from different angles, sure. uh, different parts of the city. Yeah, well, the, it's, the easiest way to do is you need to be out there all the time. And you, you have to change the shot. Then you have to be there, you know, make yourself available. Be there when everything happens. And I actually visited your gallery and I remember you telling me, I thought this was so fascinating, that if you look closely in some of your images, you try and keep sometimes the people. You can easily Photoshop them out, but every once in a while you'll see maybe a person sitting by a rock to kind of give that scale sure. so you understand how magnificent something is. Yes, yes. Then, uh, you know, sometimes with a camera, you cannot capture the scale. Then if you put people into your photograph, you automatically figure about the scale. Yeah. And so you're an award-winning photographer. Tell us about some of those awards that you've received. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the best one um, I really like, and I still, it's my favorite picture. It's my lion in love. Uh, where it's two lions uh, hugging each other. Uh, we, I, I took it of uh, Pittsburgh Zoo. And I think that's fascinating, too, that I remember seeing this picture. I would have never guessed that you got that at our zoo. Yeah, yeah, I was in a zoo. I mean, we capture the moment, we capture the love. There's so much love in, in the photograph, where that's why we won the first place on Popular Photography Magazine. I imagine that as a photographer, you have to have a lot of patience. A lot of patience, find? yeah. Actually, you have to have a lot of patience. Uh, you have to be a weatherman. And you have to be there. <laughs> yeah. You have to be there. You have to be there all the time. It's, yeah, it's time consuming. You have to be there when the thing happens. This is where you could capture it. So aside from your uh, lion in love, what are some of your other photo uh, favorite photographs that you've taken? Um, I took one, um, as you saw before, was, uh, I call it Tabo Trabo. That was a Tabo lightning strike um, the, on the city of Pittsburgh. So I was op over... Uh, a West, West End Overlook. Mm -hmm. I remember that day I, I took about 400 pictures. 400? Yeah, for, just to capture just that one, that one picture. And I didn't, know, I didn't even knew I took, I captured both lightning at the same time. So you didn't know I, until you went back and you started uh, yeah, scanning through all those exactly images. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Then, it was kind of luck, but you have to be there also. I imagine that some of this has to be a little bit dangerous as well. Yeah. I mean, if you're standing out in a lightning storm trying to capture those images. Yeah, you never kind of think about the dangers because you're so concentrated just to get to get that uh, shot. When did you decide to make this your full-time job? Well, it was a dream for me yeah. for a long time now. Then um, 
you know, I had given the opportunity and um, about, uh, you know, a couple years ago. And here I am now, we have a gallery. And, I think uh, it's great. Yeah, it's very nice. Well, hard work pays off. Oh, thank you very much. Certainly glad to see you here this morning sharing some of your images. And you can visit the Emanuel's Fine Art Photography Gallery on 7th Street in the Encore Building in the Cultural District in downtown Pittsburgh. Amazing photographs to see there.